Yeah, live from Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs, it's the Breeders' Crown 2010 from Wilkes-Barre, the Pocono Resort area. Proud to bring it to you live all across the nation, by the way, also being simulcast in New Zealand and Australia, where they're betting and wagering right along with us tonight. I'm Lou Tilly, along with Steve Ross, uh, host of Pennsylvania Harness Week, former track announcer at the old Liberty Bell Park, where they actually ran one Breeders' Uh, crowned race they did. Uh, back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And Steve, you had some interesting uh, thoughts on what we've seen so far as we come down to the last two Breeders' Crown races of the evening. If you're a better, this is betting nirvana because you can see what's happening. There's been a lot of great prices. Why does that happen, Lou? Mm -hmm. Because this is the best talent, and the best talent is going for a lot of money. So nobody's out there for a tightener. Nobody's out there for exercise. Nobody trying to get revved up or amped up. They're out there going for the big money, and everybody's going and the best horses are there. So this is what it's, it's great. Next up, it's uh, $500,000. The Breeders' Crown, the male open pace. Let's take a quick run through the field, Steve. Shark gesture, that he's gonna be over bed. He's gonna be the favorite from the rail. Foiled again, Yannick Jingra, seven to two. Comes off a track record setting performance at Harrington last time out in the Bobby Quillen. Better sweet, Brian Sears at 10 to one. Hypnotic Blue Chip, who's gone the fastest mile of any pacer this year, 147 and two at the Meadowlands. Won the West, Dave Miller at three to one. He is an ultra consistent sort, never off the board in 2010. Lists again at 10 to one with Andy Miller. Clear Vision, Ron Pierce, red hot tonight. Blue Ridge Western, Dan Dubay at 15 to one. There's your field. Hypnotic blue chip and a memorable moment blitzing past Shark Gesture in the U.S. Pacing Championships. One of the horses that we'll be keeping an eye on. And again, back to your point about uh, the, the money here, Steve. I think you made a, a, a comment about uh, not trying to, they're, they're not trying to just find a place in the money. They're, no. they're going for the big prize here. And they're pointing to this these races. And when you have the best against the best, you're going to get the best result. And the prices are really great. Hypnotic Blue Chip, as you see, three to one odds. And it, and he just has a big league shot. As we mentioned before, he had a big race at the Meadowlands where he beat Shark Gesture. Shark Gesture is going to be very tough to beat from the rail. But if any horse can beat him, it is the four, Hypnotic Blue Chip, with Jody Jamison in the sulky. And 16% uh, of the time in the last three years, if you come out of the four gate, you're a winner. 16% of the time, the one starting position is the next best. Right, the four holes. And there's the, best. the one horse, the shark gesture. Yeah. And there is the, there he is, dun, 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 <laughs> the shark. And he is the man. And I'm sure he's even money now. One to one, yeah. And yet he's deserved it. He'll go over $3 million in earnings if he wins this particular race. But he is a tough, he's a tough nut to crack. And from the real, he's going to be doubly tough. But it is a top field with all the best free for all pacers in America in this race coming up. And what kind of uh, strategy are these drivers contemplating right now based on what they've seen? We heard Tietrick say earlier that it's kind of been a night of upsets and it affected the way he drove his race. Well, I think what's going to happen is I think Shark Gesture is going to leave out of there. Foiled again is going to try and probably get the two hole. I think it's going to set it up well for for one the West who always fires his best shot and he will just be probably I figure a second over trip. It's going to come down to very simply is Shark Gesture from the rail. Can he be beaten? I think he's going to be over bet. We'll have to see. Open pace for uh, males, uh, $500,000 at stake. And let's take a look at the updated track odds and a huge handle, by the way, being laid down by the 10,000 fans here tonight. Yep, Shark Gesture from the rail, even money and deservedly so. Foiled again, a generous overlay at 8-1 to one from the two. Better sweet at 18-1, to one, ambitiously placed, I think. And Hypnotic Blue Chip, 5-2, to two, won the West also at 5-2, to two, too. Liss again, 39-1, to one, Clear Vision, 41-1, to one, not much of a chance. Blue Ridge Western, 75-1, to one. eh, the inside is going to be the tough part here. I love to play the names, and if you're looking for an upset, uh, how about Foiled again, Curses, uh, for short. Heather's down uh, with an interview in the winner's circle uh, beforehand. Uh, in the paddock, pardon me, not the winner's circle, a little premature on my, on my part. Let's get on to Heather Moffitt right now. Hey guys, yes, I'm here with Ron Burke. He's a trainer of Foiled Again and Won the West. You know, this is pretty good for you. These The horses are on a 5 8 mile track. That helps your horses out a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, no, I think it brings Shark Chester back to us a little bit, and maybe even Hypnotic Blue Chip, you know. My horses are more the small track specialists, and, uh, you know, I think they both will acquit themselves well here. It's, you know, it seems like tonight it's all about trip. There's a little rumor going around that One the West has a girlfriend named Ginger and Fred. Is that right? Yeah, no, they're pretty good. And, uh, you know, that's all for Sarah. Sarah keeps them things of hers all tight and in together. So 
that whole group gets along. Thank you, Ron, and good luck tonight. Thank you. <laughs> wow, what is, what is she getting at there, Steve? I, that's my girl. That's Heather. That's wow. her. All right. I like uh, <laughs> hypnotic blue chip. I really went out on a limb. Yeah, you did. And you liked the, the I, I upset, think foiled you know? again at 8-1, at to one, it's a very generous price. I like it. And I, from the two-hole, I think it's a legit shot to beat the horse. Heather has the five, won the West, who will, should get a great trip here. Gray goes with Shark Gesture, as does Jennifer. Mm, well, there's a trend. Um, is, 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 is Ron Burke that tall, or, or did Heather take her high heels off? I think she was on her knees or something, <laughs> because he was a huge guy. Here comes the big race. Sam McKee will have the call of uh, race number 12 in the Breeders' Crown tonight. $500,000 at stake. Take it. It is post time. The open pacers, a field of eight all lined up. Every nose is on the gate as they head into the backstretch for what figures to be a shootout with a half million on the line. The best older pacers in the sport, and they are approaching the start. And they're off, and Lissigan is charging out from the outside for Andy Miller, trying for the lead. Shark gesture, looking to protect the rail, hustling hard for George Brennan, and won the West, came away well. He's racing in third, and he'll have room to drop in, just in front of Foiled again, who came out in fourth. Better sweet on the inside fifth. Hypnotic Blue Chip is sixth in the early stages, followed up by Clear Vision, and Blue Ridge Western is the trailer. It hits the Shark, leading the way, and George Brennan has the gas pedal down on Shark gesture. How about 26 and two? for the opening quarter, but he broke. Shark Gesture goes off stride. Lissigan was forced wide around him, so won the West, inherits the lead, passing the stands for the first time. A roughed up Lissigan is first up on the outside, and foiled again is right there in the garden spot third. Better Sweet rides the pylons up into fourth. Hypnotic Blue Chip racing fifth and edging to the outside. Clear Vision is sixth in behind him, then Blue Ridge Western and a costly break by Shark Gesture, and he trails the field. The half and 54 and three, so one, the West is in control as they head onto the back stretch. He's using Liss again as a pick to block any outer flow from developing. Foiled again is right there. He'll take his chances late. Hypnotic Blue Chip is second over on the outside. Maybe forced three wide a bit early as Liss again starts to retreat and Hypnotic Blue Chip is three deep on the outside. So the tactical advantage to one, the West and Dave Miller quickens on the lead as they hit three quarters in one, 22 and one. Hypnotic Blue Chip trying to chase him down on the outside is now just a neck from the front for Jody Jamison. Foiled again, looms the danger in the pocket, and Better Sweet is racing in fourth on the outside. It's won the West in mid-stretch, who leads the way. Foiled again is in behind. Better Sweet and Hypnotic Blue Chip won the West, is almost there. Dave Miller won the West, win the Breeders' Crown. Back-to-back -back seasons for won the West. Foiled again was second. I believe Better Sweet third, one forty-nine flat. Oh. 149 flat, and just before we started, Steve Ross said this will be one of our fastest paces of the night. But boy, uh, some things you just can't anticipate there, Steve. No, and you know, sh Shark Gesture, the, the problem I have with Shark Gesture was the, on the turns. Doesn't handle the turns well. Okay, as you'll see, there's Shark Gesture going on a break. Cuts a 26 and 2 opening sparkling quarter, and then on the first turn, makes that break. What, won the West, inherits the lead, and is not a traditional front runner. But as it turned out in this particular race, here's the finish. Won the West, has the lead. Liss again starts to back off. I thought that Foiled again, sitting behind him in the two hole, would have a big shot here. And that's Hypnotic Blue Chip on the outside. But when Dave Miller asks him, he just goes on and he holds sway to the wire. And it's won the West the second year in a row that he has won this Breeders' Cup, Breeders' Crown Rally. Excellent. Good job. Won the West on official time at 1.49 even. We'll have the official results, and we'll talk with the winning trainer and driver when we come back from the Poconos and Pocono Downs. Another beautiful Breeders' Crown trophy being awarded and not to mention some spectacular prize money here. As we continue with our live coverage of the Breeders' Crown 2010, won the West, the five horse with David Miller, their driver, bringing him home on top of this field. The trainer, Ron Burke, who we spoke with, Heather spoke with just before the start of the race. Let's go down now to Greg Blanchard and his analysis of our latest champion. <laughs> 